Zudi Jasser. Um, Zudi is a, a former U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander and the Chairman of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Zudi, let me ask you the same question that I just asked uh, uh, Steve, and that is, uh, uh, Gordon Brown says, no use of Muslim and terrorist, jihad, Islamic, or fundamentalist in any statement coming out of his new government. What would you call, you're a Muslim, what would you call these guys? Uh, they are, you know, it's between them and God what they call themselves, and they call themselves Muslim. And the only way we're going to get traction in the anti-Islamist movement to fight this global movement for a, a caliphate or, or whatever they're seeking against secular democracies is to call them Muslims and give us room to have the debate within the Muslim community. If we don't call them Muslims, we might as well, as uh, Steve said, give up and uh, not debate them and, and uh, continue to live in platitudes. For anybody who doesn't know what a caliphate is, that is a global... Um, uh, uh, Islamic State and it is a spooky I mean it's everybody's wearing a burqa let me ask you this um, I asked you to look into an ad that is um, actually was in the uh, uh, paper Muslims United this is over in Great Britain in the name of God most uh, uh, beneficent uh, most merciful Muslims United the Muslim communities across Britain are united in contemning, uh, condemning the attempted bombings in London and Glasgow this seems like a pretty good ad coming in from the Muslim community saying look it's not us what do well, you think well I want to I want to believe their their hearts in the right place and you know we've seen so many of these we saw them from care and other organizations in America the not in our name petitions but okay they condemn the means what about the ends? These terrorists are not, this is not an action we're fighting, we're fighting individuals. When they start putting ads saying Muslims against Al-Qaeda, Muslims against Islamism, Muslims against the caliphate and the transnational um, movements, then I'll start to believe them. Right now, they're just condemning the means and, you know, that so gives them a table. You, at How do table. you know, uh, Zudi, as a, I mean, I don't hate Muslims by any stretch of the imagination. And I know that it's maybe 10% of uh, the Islamic world, but that's an army of 100 million that are are, that want this caliphate, how do people know the difference? When you see these organizations and they stand up and say, we're, we're the good guys, how do you know? Just like how we knew who was on our side in the Cold War and in World War I and World War II. We knew whether they stood for America's ideology or Western secular free universal religious freedom ideology or not. And that's what we need to do here. There's an organization called Hizb Tahrir that they recruited some of these doctors from. And uh, all we need to do is ask these Muslim organizations that have filled out this ad. What do you think about this caliphate? What do you think about Hizb Tahrir? Are you with them or against them? Because if they are with them, they certainly are going to be supporting the ends of the terrorists. Even Hizb Tahrir condemned the, the means, which was the terrorist actions in London and Glasgow. But what are they doing about the ideology? If they're not going to start using that same passage in their ad to say that we are anti-jihad, anti-al-Qaeda, it might as well not say anything. Zudi Jasser, a Muslim voice that America needs to hear more often. Thank you very much. Thank you, Glenn. Coming up.